Hi, I'm Amelia Tamayo. Yom Kippur was this week. In other news... Massachusetts state elections are in November and the first ballot question asks us whether or not we should impose nurse staffing ratios. This would mean a fixed number of patients that one nurse can tend to at any given time. I sat down with representatives from Cooley Dickinson and a nurse from the Massachusetts Nurses Association to get a perspective from both sides on the issue. While the Mass Nurses Association represents most working nurses um, in Massachusetts, there are 23,000 uh, nurses and we as working nurses for 20 years have been trying to establish a mandated um, limit of the number of patients that nurses take care of. The most change will be for the people laying in the bed. I mean, it will be an astounding change. And when you talk to people who've already been a patient before, they'll tell, everybody will tell you, they'll tell you their experience that they didn't see a nurse, that they were sick or they were afraid or they weren't sure they were being cared for adequately because they didn't see nurses. So it will change for them and all the data, 20 years of studies, very large peer reviewed studies show that it will be better for patients. Cooley Dickinson is definitely opposed to ballot question one. They are not in favor of mandated nursing ratios and they have sent out their opinion in a press release last week. If this ballot initiative passes, the staff is going to be infect, affected in a number of ways. First of all, nurses are going to lose their autonomy and their ability to make decisions that are in the best interest of their patients. They have the experience and the knowledge to determine how best to care for their patients. And the minute that um, they lose that, they lose a big part of patient care. Um, they, if they have a certain number of patients on the unit and one of those patients starts to have a crisis. They determine, you know, who else can absorb their patients so that that nurse can take care of that one patient, giving them the care that they need at that time until the crisis passes. Thanks for watching and make sure you register to vote. Bye!